Good morning, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, as we come to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us ask God for his pardon and his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have failed in my thoughts, in my words, do not have failed, do not have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most difficult. Before I ask, as a very virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. For God, whose providence never fails in its design, Keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, wait for and hasten the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to his promise, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, Be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him, at peace, and consider the patience of our Lord as salvation. Therefore, beloved, since you are forewarned, be on your guard not to let into the error of the unprincipled and to fall from your own stability, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory now and to the day of eternity. Amen. The word of the Lord. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Before the mountains were begotten and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Seventy is the sum of our years, or eighty if we are strong, and most of them are fruitless toil, for they pass quickly and we drift away. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. They came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man 
and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status, but, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing the hypocrisy, he said to them, Why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at. They brought one to him. And he said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They replied to him, Caesar's. So Jesus said, We pay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed at him. The Gospel of the Lord. I didn't pay too much, too much attention to one of the words of the first reading, and when I heard it, I said, maybe I should change my mind. You are not lucky. I'm not lucky either. I can read it still, though. How often you ask yourself, where is God? How often in your life you just look at all over. You look at the world, maybe the situation in your family, and you say, God, why you don't do anything? Why are you so silent? The first reading said, God's patience is our salvation. You know, there is something who happened to me when I finished all my studies as a seminarian, the six years. You know, in Haiti, at the end, we have a huge exam for the six years. All the teachers, they are there on the table, and it's like you are on a trial, and they are judging you. I was so scared, and worse, my bishop was my teacher. Very smart man. And when I saw it was him, I thought it would be somebody else. When I saw it was my bishop, I trembled. When he saw that, he looked at me, he laughed. Do you think I laughed back? No, it wasn't time for that. I was so impatient with myself until he came, he said, are you scared of me? And I said, I'm not scared of you. I'm scared the way you will do your exam. And he said, it's going to be okay. You know, brothers and sisters, in our lives, whenever things are good, we are very happy. Oh, God, you are so good to me. You are so wonderful to me. But when bad things happen, whatever it is, we are impatient. You know, on um, the prayer I just read, it says, God's providence never fails. God's providence never fails. This is part of who we are. To believe, really, God is a father for us. And because of that, we know he loves us, and whatever it is, he will always take good care of us. We don't have to be scared. Of course, when I am happy, and okay, God, it's so wonderful, but when there is some kind of situation I don't like that much, don't forget that. God's patience is your salvation. And God's providence never fails. How many of you really believe that? That the God you trust in, the God you believe in, this God will never abandon us. You know, very often when things are not the way they are supposed to be in my life, 
And I said, Jesus, huh, you cannot have friends. I can see that. If you treat them that way, you cannot have a lot of friends. You know, let us forget that. See, in your life, you have the impression you wait, you wait, you wait, you wait. You go to the hospital. Your health is not that good. You don't know what is going to happen. Don't forget. God knows what he is doing. God knows where he is going with you. God knows the way. That's what he said. I am the way. You are not the way. Sometimes we pretend to be the way. No. He is your way. Yes, my brothers and sisters, let us pray for all these troubles you could have, all these concerns you may have. As said Jesus in the gospel, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, give to God what belongs to God. In other words, love God, love your neighbor as yourself. Let us wait for all of you. Maybe in this moment, you have something in your heart. Maybe in this moment, something is going on in your life and you don't know what to do. Remember, God's providence never fails. Remember, God's patience is your salvation. Please stand, my brothers and sisters, and let us now offer our prayers to God. For Christians in public life who serve in government, business, and leadership, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For presidents and governors, members of Congress and parliaments, who lead nations and states according to the law. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For citizens of nations and those without citizenship, who together build the common good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For tax collectors and budget makers, who manage and disperse the common purse. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For military and police who protect and defend the weakest among the nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and those in need, for whom we recall our duty to care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dead and those lost to neglect, for citizenship and the reign of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you love us so much that you are our salvation. Give us what we need every single day, the strength we need in our trials to continue to love you and to continue to believe you are our providence, you are our salvation. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, put of divine, a work of human hands, it will become our spiritual joy. my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Show us staying in your compassion, O Lord. We come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. I will do in our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death. Summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. As without end we acclaim, holy, 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 God of us. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them where did you fall, so that they may become first the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Taylor our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may be able to be coerced with eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. God's providence never fails. The Lord is our salvation. And so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us into temptation. For deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord that Jesus Christ, who said to our pastors, to each of us this morning in this moment, peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer to each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you, called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. Hold on this hand. And my soul shall be
Let us pray. Govern by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, you may be to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the loving God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace.